bearing material though. Yeah, we pulled off the oil pan. And as you guys can see, we got a whole bunch of metal flakes and chunks in the pan. All right, guys. So we uh, we took off the oil pan. Uh, we found a lot of uh, metal shavings. It looked like bearing material, uh, but we couldn't really see anything up inside the motor yet. Uh, so we put the, the pan back on just a little bit. And uh, right now we're going to do a test. We took out the spark plugs. We're going to basically put the motor at top dead center, put a rod in the spark plug holes, and basically just see if there's any like piston play or anything like that. Uh, after that, if we find anything, I'll update you. Um, but after that, it's probably just gonna be taking off accessories and starting to pull the motor. All right, so we think we found the problem in cylinder four. We're checking for play in the piston, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put the engine at top dead center and then we're gonna check for play. On the way down, you gotta put it on the way down. Right. Yeah, it's that's your problem point. right there. So right. before. All right, guys. So right now we're gonna start tearing all the accessories off the motor, uh, drain the coolant. And um, actually just went over to my friend Kyle's house. Kyle let me borrow his uh, cherry picker and motor stand. So I'll be able to work on the motor. And yeah, this is where the fun begins. So tune in. guys so we got the front radiator support off the car most of the accessories we got the power steering off AC compressor is off working on getting off the rest of the harness in the rear of the motor the rest of the lines like that one that goes to the heater core some miscellaneous stuff down there for the most part we're almost ready to pull the motor it'll probably be tomorrow though but yeah, I'll update you again in a little bit. All right, guys, so we got everything, absolute ooh, lighting. We got everything unplugged from the motor. All the accessories are taken off. Um, next thing we gotta do is hook the motor up to the hoist, unbolt the transmission, and it'll be ready to be pulled. Everything is labeled, everything. Little baggies. Everything. All right, just got the transmission unbolted. Ready to pull it finally.
right, guys, we successfully got the motor out. High five, Pops. Finally did it. Got the tranny. Bolted and everything. Can't say tranny, this is better. Oh, shut up. Transmission. All right. So now we start tearing it down. Cool. All right, guys, it's day three, rebuilding the motor. Well, motor teardown, I guess I could say. Uh, I'm on my way to Broward Bolt to pick up um, the bolts for the motor stand. So I have this one right here uh, as a comparison for what I need, but I actually need the thread pitch of the bell housing bolt. So I'm gonna go there, pick up what I need, and then, uh, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna start on the motor again. I already have the valve cover off and the timing cover off. A couple miscellaneous like accessories like the the water pump, the um, the tensioners, all the pulleys, crankshaft, stuff like that. So yeah, I'll update you guys when I have what I need. All right guys, just left Broward Bolt, got what we need for the motor stand and uh, gonna head home, put it on the motor stand now. Start working. side off as you guys can see over there we got the turbo side off as well now we just got to start taking off the head and then we'll make our way to the block and then we'll send the block off to the machine shop all right got the intake manifold off cams are off timing chain is off We're getting ready to pull the head off right now so we just got it looks like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten T55 bolts and should come right up. All right guys, so we've been working on the head for I wanna say three hours now. Um, so we got nine out of the 10 um, head bolts out. These fuckers right here. Um, this is example A. So told you guys use a T55. Don't actually use a T55 bit. Uh, it's going to be a 12 millimeter triple square um, bit. Um, so we messed up two of the bolt threads. We were able to get this one out by hammering a bigger socket on. The next one um, didn't go so well. Let me see if I can show you guys. Right in there, if you can see. We've already started to drill it out. We've been drilling for about two hours now. And it's being a huge pain, huge pain. So as soon as we get that off, we'll be able to take the head off. And yeah. All right guys, so Cam came over. As Soon as Cam came, we were able to get this out because he brought his Milwaukee drill. We were able to use the 5 8 bit to break off basically the tip of that head bolt so let me show you guys the damage so this is cylinder four you can see some scoring right there on the cylinder walls you can see some metal shavings down there so more scoring over there all right guys everything is off the motor okay we got the water pump oil filter housing, got the head off, motor mounts are off, everything off the intake side. Now we just got to take it to the machine shop. We might take off the bottom casing, I'm not sure yet, but this is where we stand right now. All right guys, so we finally found the damage. We were right, cylinder four, 
main bearing. As you can see, the pistons and rods are not supposed to jiggle around like that. Let's see if I can bring it up. Okay, so I decided to um, clean up the engine bay. So as you can see, this is the driver's side, just absolutely filthy, dusty. We come over to this side, I'm not finished yet, but look at this, beautiful. I mean, I got some scratches. I might touch this up with some like red paint, try to get this as nice as possible. But yeah, we got a lot, we gotta clean, make this look pretty. All right guys, engine bay is all cleaned up. I got as much like dirt, grease, and oil out as I can. All right. I'm actually painting some stuff over here, side of the house. I got the motor mounts, a couple different brackets, a fuse box covers, stuff like that. But yeah, subframe is all clean, a couple scratches, no biggie. I even uh, got the transmission the best that I could. Everything back there, yeah. All right guys, so I never did a proper outro to this video. Um, however, I do have the parts on order for the internals. New turbo coming soon as well, new clutch. Uh, believe it or not, I got a Haltech ECU, so I got a whole bunch of cool parts on the way, which I'll un be unboxing in the next video, and then we'll be taking the motor to the machine shop. Um, but for now, just go ahead, like the video, subscribe to keep updated with the content. Go ahead down right in the comments, right below let me know how i can improve my content enjoy the rest of your day guys bye